I'm going to talk about the different locations, and more specifically, how instructors know if they're teaching at a given location or not. The Boca Majority Summer Camps take place at a variety of locations all over the state of Texas and beyond. The instructors at our camps are typically private lesson instructors and music educators who specialize in oboe and or bassoon as their primary instrument. Our classes are kept small at approximately an 8 to 1 ratio or less. We typically engage over 100 instructors any given summer. Our camps have different levels or divisions. This summer we have our ADRID division and our regular division. ADRID, or Advanced Double Read Institute of Texas, takes place at select locations only. Our ADRID instructors are engaged and confirmed in the fall. They're usually top symphony players and or college professors. Most of the time, the students in the ADRID division are made up of advanced high school level students who are often all state or area level players and who have a strong interest in playing their instrument at a high level. In our regular division, open to anyone, the staffing works a little differently. Since we're focused on that student to teacher ratio, since enrollment varies from year to year, and since our instructor's availability also changes from year to year, we don't always know what the intersection will be between our staffing needs and the needs of our staff, as early as we do for the ADRIT program. For most of our locations, we therefore initially request instructor's availability and interest with the explanation that we will be confirming each engagement later on typically after our May 15th on-time enrollment deadline. Once we get to the on-time enrollment deadline, May 15th, approximately 80% of our student enrollment for the summer will have taken place, allowing us to have a clearer picture of our staffing needs. We therefore typically email those confirmations for staffing on or after May 16th. There are some exceptions to this, which include locations that are either harder to staff or that have some sort of specific predefined need. Those locations could include Virginia, SciFair, RGB, and our beginner camp, which is completely separate from most of the other camps, and it takes place much later in the summer. Additionally, we engage camp interns, site managers, and store managers, um, and those folks are engaged much earlier in the planning process as well. So how will you know if you're for sure teaching at a given location? The first step is to fill out our independent contractor form. At some point after that, we'll send an email that looks like this and has the verbiage, this is your official confirmation letter and invitation to teach at the Boca Majority Camp listed below. Upon receiving that confirmation email, you'll need to email us back to confirm on your end. What if your plans have changed and you're not available when we email you the confirmation? That's okay. From time to time, uh, when you filled out the form, uh, and then the, between that time and when we confirm you, we understand that you're not holding those dates for us. It's helpful for us to know, and so if you'll let us know before that of any changes, that would be helpful. However, in absence of that, we ask that you respond quickly and let us know that you're not available if offered a position that you're not able to accept. What if your plans change after you accept a position and confirm with us? When you receive your confirmation email, it will say this. Once you have accepted this position, you are on contract, and you absolutely cannot back out without being considered breaking contract. So at that point, you, can, you should consider those say, dates as set in stone. We're depending on you and relying on you to be there. In most cases, backing out after you confirm with us means we will be unlikely to offer you a position in the future, since dependability is a top priority for us. The dates of your engagement will be listed on the confirmation email. All dates and times represent required attendance for all instructors. No absences, no late arrivals, and no early departures will be permitted. That's a detriment to the safety and well-being of the minor students in our care. It puts a burden on the other members of the teaching team, as well as on the site manager and our leadership. The camp dates and times are shown, as well as the pre-camp meeting and rehearsal day and times. If you're unsure about this, please contact us to ask before you confirm and accept the position. How much is the pay? Instructors in our regular division at our commuter style camps, so all the camps in Texas during June and July, will be paid $800. If you're teaching at the beginner camp, which starts in July and goes into August, those hours are fewer and the pay is less. 
If you don't know what camp I'm referring to, it probably means you have not been engaged there. Fat camps for beginners who have never ever played their instrument, and it's two to three hours per day. If you really want to be sure, you can inquire. Regular commuter camp locations for this year are and our beginner camp location is We also have one residential camp in Virginia. There are many variations of schedule, pay, and hours, so that will be discussed in a separate video.